collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in on it the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. I first want to talk about a download that I've been receiving. There is like a king of swords reverse. This is like a warlock and a queen of wands reverse that are planning on kidnapping someone. Uh, they want to kidnap you so that you and someone do not come together either to work together or to even be in a union together. They don't want you to reconcile it because there's something where it's like they're gaining a lot of money off of you two being separated, you two not connecting, you two not reconciling, something of that nature. It's basically two hateful people, uh, two malicious people on a mission. And these two are exactly alike. Think of like a divine couple uh, 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 um, uh, marrying each other energy-wise, but take that and put it in like a, a karmic couple. Uh, I don't know if the two of them are dating or the two of them are just low vibrational together. This is like a Bonnie and Clyde uh, duo, and they're equally uh, vicious. They are equally malicious and wicked and mean. Um, so they are on some type of mission to kidnap a feminine energy so that they can prevent a uh, king of wands king of swords energy from connecting to her uh balancing something out with her um breaking something to her awareness or just sealing onto calmer waters with her uh, but this is something they are actively planning on doing and this king of swords reverse is planning on going to this woman's home um whether you live in a house in a condo in an apartment um he's making some type of arrangement to uh, gain access to your living quarters or he is going to be stalking you and waiting for you to go somewhere um i don't know if you're supposed to go to like an event go to court go to some type of outing so that he can snatch you on your way there uh, and no one's going to know what happened to you so this is something they are actively planning together um and she is all the way on board with it it could be a woman in a community like a queen of wands reverse that has been exposed for who it is who she is um, at a core. This is just someone really insecure. Uh, someone that is determined to mix something out uh, to be what it is not. Like she wants to force some type of narrative about herself. Someone who have been stealing from you as far as like your creativity, your intellectual property. Um, but something has been exposed that this is just someone insecure and does not know what it is she's doing. And it's not... Uh, the innovator of something that she's been claiming that she invented or she created or she came up with. She can't even remember the... <clears throat> Excuse me. Sis don't want her business out here. She doesn't even want her... Um, I mean, excuse me. She doesn't even have like the skills, the knowledge, uh, the ability to regurgitate the information. There's something where I see a woman sitting and practicing lines uh, so that she doesn't forget what she's supposed to say. And it's not because she has some type of work ethics. It's just that she has to keep a lie going is what, why she's doing it. Also, for someone, I don't mean to embarrass you. I don't know if you're dealing with some type of constipation issue. Like, um, there's something where it's like when someone watches my content, like some, there's something I'm picking up on, on where someone is like, constipated. And I don't, I don't know if you're like stuck. You don't know what to do. It's something you've been dealing with for a very long time. I don't know if this is like a problem you deal with your whole life or you get constipated a lot. Um, I'm not a doctor and please don't, uh, you don't have to do what it is I'm saying to do. But if you want to relieve yourself of your bowel issues, um, you can take a cup of water in a mug, warm that up, uh, put two scoops of ro dried rosemary in there, um, maybe like 10, anywhere from five to 10 pieces of cloves. Um, in there, let it simmer for about two to three minutes. You can do it longer if you want to. You can warm the water up to three minutes and let the uh, her those herbs uh, 
uh, uh, simmer in there for a while. Uh, once they simmer enough and they're potent enough, make sure you don't make it too potent because rosemary is something that's a very potent herb. Um, and you don't want it to cause you any type of like discomfort because you made it too strong. Um, you can simmer that for about three minutes, uh, to, uh, uh, strain it, and then put uh, some honey in there. Make it as sweet as you would like it to be and take that. You can take one cup in the morning, one in the afternoon, or you can take one cup one day and another cup the next day and it should be able to relieve you. I would do that maybe like when you're off work on the weekends. If you are someone that works seven days a week, then I don't know what to tell you. You're just going to have to excuse yourself from the meetings or something like that. But I've been picking up on someone that's dealing with constipation and I'm so sorry you're dealing with that because I know it can be so annoying. We've all dealt with it. Like you want to go and relieve yourself but you sit on the toilet <laughs> and nothing's happening and you're just sitting there uncomfortable. <laughs> sorry to put your business out there. Hey, at least nobody knows who you are. So it is what it is. But you can try that um, and see if it works for you. That's what I usually do. And it is a good uh, remedy for breaking down uh, mucus as well um, in your the back of your throat, your nostrils and things like that. It's almost like a full body cleanse. Um, but it's not something you want to do too often because of the rosemary is very potent. Uh, rosemary is good for your mental and so is uh, cloves. Those two herbs are really good for your mental and cloves is good for growing your hair, but it also causes breakage as well. Um, but So it's not something you want to use like too often. It's something that you do sporadically so that it can be effective. But hopefully that helps you. Let's go ahead and get into the read. Um, there could be a king of wands that's planning on coming towards someone with like a friendship offer. I don't know if he's choosing to balance something out. I've been picking up on this masculine for a while now. Someone has been going through some type of healing, trying to balance something out in his life. Coming up with some type of decision or some type of plan on how to come towards you. Uh, to seal on the calmer waters, maybe have closure, maybe bring something to your attention, maybe give you something. I don't know what this is. Uh, someone may have a lot of emotions for you or someone wants to work with you because the two of cups doesn't always have to do with love connections. It can just do with two people coming together, creating a business and that business being successful. This man could be walking away from a community that maybe presented themselves to be uh, very wealthy or maybe he tried to build something with a community and it's turning out that it's a community of false people. And so now he's leaving his community behind to go and balance something out. And they, I'm feeling like this is the community that I am picking up on. Um, that then I said something about the Queen of Wands. <laughs> you see who's out here? <laughs> Sis is up to it again, everybody. She's up to it again. This girl says she ain't letting go until everybody believes that she's a high priestess and everybody believes that she's an empress energy. Everybody believes that she is genuine. She said, I'm truly genuine. <laughs> I'm only human. She's out here on her Lauren Hill. I said, Lauren Hill is actually genuine, but she ain't. Uh, as you can see, you see the card that came after this woman. I'm telling you, just about every read that I do on this Queen of Wands is either the devil, it's either the Eight of Swords, it's either the Three of Swords, it's something, or like the Four of Cups. It's something really negative around this woman. Whoever she is has been exposed within a community and she cannot hide something anymore, but she's still doing something malicious behind the scenes to block someone else's forward movement, to block some type of con uh, connection, to block some type of collaboration between two people. Someone says it's very determined. Honey, I'm telling you, the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, and she still wants to keep going. Very determined, very committed to keep going. Like this woman is trapped in her head, worry, burden, still trying to cause manipulations and confusions because something is still moving forward. Someone is still moving forward. It's almost like someone being embarrassed in a community because she's done everything to stop you from moving forward, to destroy your life, destroy your work, destroy your investments. But every day she wakes up and she's either still seeing your face, still hearing your voice, Still hearing about you, maybe even people in her community like you now and they don't care too much for her because they see that she's just really insecure. Um, but she's still determined to have something go in her favor when in reality people are kind of repulsed by this woman and kind of turned off by the things that she's been doing. Whoever the masculine energy is, because I've been picking up on a masculine energy that this woman is attached to, 
He's done. Like a, a bro, a, a brother is done. A bro is done. He says, "Sure, I can't do this. This woman is embarrassing. Like you're embarrassing. I can't take you nowhere. You can't represent my company. You're out here uh, stealing from people, lying on people, destroying uh, pathways. I don't know what this is, but someone is embarrassed, or a community is embarrassed by a woman. And I don't know if she knows that. Like this woman is determined to have someone choose her. I don't know if this is like has to do with a work opportunities and she wants that opportunity. I don't know if this has to do with a love opportunity and she wants that relationship. But this man has made a decision to go somewhere else and gave his offer to someone else. It could be like a queen of cups, queen of swords, empress energy. I don't know who you are collective. But this man has made his decision to come towards you, to work with you. And this narcissistic woman is still determined to block this man from moving on. But there's a tower going on because he's still moving on to uh, balance something out. It's causing a tower in her life because if this man comes to you, then it's kind of over and done for her. She's not going to have something anymore. I don't know if he used to give to her or was paying her to do something. And he's finding out she's not gifted at all. She's just been out here regurgitating lines from other people something of that nature sis is heartbroken because the truth is out and by this whole ten of pentacles she was trying to build it's built on a false foundation or she was building it on a false foundation now that this man has a uh, insight or foresight of what has been going on this brother is determined to go on with his life he said whether i leave today just bill whether i leave tomorrow or yesterday my day baby i'm out he said i don't know what to tell you but uh, this is it. <laughs> Y'all know me and my clown, he my clowny with that Michael Jackson mess on this channel. That brother is in his Michael Jackson vibe. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Bro is moving out, choosing to balance something, going to go talk to whoever it is he want to work with because he sees that, sees that you are the Ten of Pentacles. You are where the bee's knees is. You are where the vibe.com is, okay? That you're the one to build the Ten of Pentacles away. So he's coming towards you to reconcile, to bring some type of attunement and clarity into a situation. Something's going to lead to an Ace of Pentacles. You two will be nurturing or he may want to give you something so you can nurture it into an Ace of Pentacles. Um, typically, the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from God. So whoever's coming towards you, whatever they're bringing towards you is something that's been sent to you by the, by the Most High. Someone sees you as very determined. Your character could be being illuminated. People see you as someone that's in the upright, someone that's very genuine, someone that's solid as a rock, someone that's upstanding. Uh, so someone could be defending you and bringing balance into this situation, which is enabling destiny to play out. And it has this woman pissed off absolutely pissed off mad living in fear because she knows what this chapter is over due to this masculine taking action to give some type of offer to a queen of cups in the upright that knows what it is they're talking about a queen of cups that's actually loyal uh very determined a little bit on the feisty side but maybe everybody needs a little bit of sauce to them everybody needs a little bit of seasoning to them i got a whole lot of it myself and it is okay that's how we you know that's how we surprise people in life you know they see you they say, oh, that's just a queen of cups. And then they come around and fool with you. And they find out you got a sword that's two-edged. It's a uh, two-edged sword. And you don't got time to date tomorrow or any other day to play with anybody and their karmic ancestors. They are trying to get into the light. But she said, nah, 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 nah. We're going to stay in the dark a little bit more. I'm not ready to heal yet. I still want to be insecure. I still want to be insecure. Being insecure is the bomb.com, that .org. So we're going to stay here. And they're just bombastic side eye and her like, girl, what are you talking about? We've been insecure for 10,000 years. We were asking you to fix the situation. Looks like you're incapable of accomplishing the mission. Is that what you're telling us? Hold on. You don't even got to tell us. We already know it's too late. So anyways, this man sees you as genuine. It's looking into what it is you have been saying about these people doing work. She and some kink of swords reverse has been working together in the background to cause you loss, blockages, stagnation, stalemates, trying to keep something that does not belong to them. They're even trying to keep this man from having wish fulfillment, baby, from balancing something out with you, just like I had said. Um, but he ain't having it. He ain't having it. You know what he's about to do? Uh, baby, he's leaving her out in the cold. He said, uh, you got me fooled up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five many ways. I ain't staying here with your raggedy behind. I don't got no money for you. I'm done. Let's see. Whoever this king of wands is, baby, that I've been picking up on, I liked his vibes. <laughs> Yeah. 
I like this man's vibe. Maybe this man is a whole vibe. <laughs> he's a whole situation. Like, he's just reckless with the mouth. <laughs> but he don't give two Fs. <laughs> This brother don't give two Fs because he's fed up. He says, should I be patient with you long enough? This is someone that's been trying his best to be patient with this woman. He said, I can't do it no more. You know I don't cut up, cut up to you, right? I caught on a long time ago, and I've been giving you time and time and time again to fix the situation, to fix what's broken. And you just been out here disappointing me. It's over. He's moving on. Whatever union, collaboration, work, situation you had with this woman is over and this is a woman that's absolutely pissed off very jealous envious girl sis don't know what to do with herself bros sis don't know what to do with herself she's about to spaz out she's plotting on taking some type of reckless action and she's still gonna be left out in the cold still ending this karmic chapter alone <laughs> he said one <laughs> One is such a lonely number. Sis, you about to be out here feeling the cold. Someone is very, someone is very greedy. All jokes aside, someone is very greedy. This is this is the the kind of people that refuses to self actualize in life. When they see like a high vibrational person, they say, "Oh, I don't know about you, but I don't care to be perfect." No, that's excuses she's making so she can keep being low vibrational. Being because these are people that see spiritual people and they say they don't want to they don't want to be perfect. I don't care to be perfect. That's her saying I don't care to make healthy choices because spirituality has nothing to do with perfection. It has nothing to do with you being perfect because nobody is perfect. Absolutely nobody. Not even little old me over here. I got flaws. I got problems. I got problems. You got them too. Okay, we stick together. <laughs> you got a friend in me. <laughs> Nah, for real. Everybody got problems, okay? But the thing that spiritual people do that are genuinely in that field and love what they do is that they try their best. They wake up every day, try their best to make healthy decisions. It has nothing to do with perfection. People like these that say things like they were, oh, I don't know about you. I don't care to be perfect. That's them making excuses so they can keep making unhealthy choices and leading everybody else down into the slaughterhouse talking about, follow me. I know the way. Of course, you know the way. You're the leader of the karmic crew. So, yeah, of course, you know the way because you, you refuse to look in. You f refuse to go within. So, of course, you know the way. We, we know you know the way. That's why you're living in fear because you're going through some type of karma. A king of cups don't turn on you. He said, girl, you got me photo. You think I'm about to put my... My dreams on hold, my destiny on hold for your raggedy behind, girl, please. You may be cute, but you ain't cute enough for me to forfeit my destiny for you. Ah! <laughs> I am touched by his straightforwardness. You all know over here is straight, straight, pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Sir, I am loving your straightforwardness. He said, you got me for the, me tell my, I'm about to forfeit my destiny for what you, girl, please. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you got that man after. That brother is determined to go on somewhere else and invest his time with this who ancestors. Bros is taking time to invest in his thinking. Like he's figuring out. Yes, I am determined. I am gonna get to my twin flame. Now, how do I get there? I'm gonna I, I got it. I'm gonna I'm figure it out. I'm gonna see for myself. I will need your help. This is a dark practitioner, by the way, this Queen of Wands. This is a dark practitioner. More than likely, this masculine may have been going to her for advice, seeking uh, spiritual counseling. This isn't somebody that knows how to spiritually counsel anybody because this is not somebody that's you. So every advice she gives you, there's a bit of saltiness to it. It's some type of personal vendetta behind it. Like, I don't got no love and you coming to me talking about you and you're in love for somebody. I don't give two Fs about you being in love. He said, so is she my twin flame? No, she ain't your twin flame the whole time, sir. <laughs> That's your twin flame that you left out in the cold. And now you want to start a chapter over with them. But it's going to be real difficult to have this closure with that woman. Because this Miss Insecure here, this is what you need to start calling her. Hey there, Miss Insecure. She don't went and told you to keep away from this woman. Trying to get you to go back to the past. I'm telling you, 
trying to trap you, try to have you go back to the past or stay in the past. Because she's karmic as heck. I don't know if you had a relationship with this woman here. This is a nutcase walking about the face of the earth. Trying to trap you. Trying to end the person you're trying to go to. She's, she said, I'm, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. If I can knock both of them out so that they never meet. And I can keep getting money from him with my lies, my insecurities, my jealousy. Because I don't want her to have more than I do. She, <laughs> It's a win-win for me. You know, lose-lose for them, girl. Destiny for the play. I ain't for the win nothing. You want to see something? You want to see something? Miss Lady, man, guess what? Guess what? He's walking away. <laughs> he don't care. He said he's he's a little bit afraid of going towards the choice that he's made. But guess what? <laughs> he's still going <clears throat> to go in. What? Have a good time. <laughs> I can't. I can't take me serious, and I can't take you serious. You a clown? I'm a clown, but we clowns in different ways. <laughs> I got knowledge. You got. I don't know what you got. <laughs> I ain't trying to. I don't ain't, mm -mm, nah, nah, uh -uh, No, 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 no. Uh, uh you see this here? I got authority. I don't know what you got. You got toxicity. I, I don't wanna uh, uh, uh I'm gonna alert I, I'm gonna alert you to that. Sorry, 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 ma'am, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> we heal over here and supported by the universe over here. I don't know what's going on with you right here. You sick, you sick, you better tell him you sick. <laughs> Your mental ain't well. Your mental is not okay. You need to fix it. You need to cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. I hear trying to hide people. Trying to hide secrets. The secrets are already out. Everybody already knows, but you're still paying behind the scenes to force something to be in your favor. Still paying behind the scenes to hide people's work, people's money, stealing from people. Girl, what are you doing? You got legal issues coming in. You're trying to hurry up to come towards the Queen of, Queen of Cups. Maybe this woman may show up as a queen of cups to the world. There's a whole queen of swords up under there. Go and tear your little behind up. Don't be coming with your friends to that woman now. Don't be going to that queen of cups with your friends because you can't handle business on your own. Talk about, I'm going to go here. I'm going to teach her a lesson. Come on, Michelle. Come with me. We're going to show her that we got strength. It's strength in numbers. It said, you don't, you don't hear how dumb you sound. You got to take Michelle, Bethany, Maria, and Crystal with you to take care of one queen of cups. You don't know how dumb that sound. You don't see how pathetic that sound. You said you are a woman. How come you can't handle business on your... You you know that line, that famous line, Chris... What is it? Uh, was it Chris Tucker? Said in rush hour, he said, put the gun down and fight me like a man. Girl, leave your friends behind. <laughs> you go fight that queen of swords, queen of cups, like a woman. You showing up as a queen of wands. That means you're a bottle, battle queen, right? <laughs> you're a battle queen until you go towards that queen of, queen of cups. And them ancestors show up, they put them hands on you, and say, like, boop, 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 boop. You're like, God dang, I didn't know they were on that kind of time. Yes. Some people, ancestors are always on the clock. They don't sleep. They say, shoot, we had enough sleep when we were alive. What we need sleep for? The light ones and the dark ones. You think you're low vibrational? Keep, keep fooling around with that Queen of Cups. When her low vibrational ancestors decide to entertain you, girl, <clears throat> karmic down, she can't get up. <laughs> karmic down, she can't get up. She's trying to recover, but it's a no. She's going to have to go back home. <laughs> Somebody's ancestors don't play about uh, him or her. <laughs> they said we got time today, tomorrow, and any other day for you and your ancestors. And guess what? They got the authority over you and your ancestors. Girl, you have to really. I don't know who this king of wands is. You're trying to block. He said, we got to make sure he don't go to her. We put in too much work for them to still come together. He cannot give her this money. If he gives her this money, she's going to be doing better than me. Because it's all about you. I don't know how somebody's destiny became about you. But what I'm picking up on is you found someone online. Because I don't know if you know this woman at all. <laughs> you found someone online. You said, God damn, she's creative as heck. She's gifted as heck. I want to be her. <laughs> you forgetting that she was already taken because she was her already. You can't be anybody else. But you said, <clears throat> I am Bethany of Irrelevance. I would like to be that earth angel right there. They said, which one? That one right there? Yes. 
that one right there. God forbid it was me. You saw my little, you know, creativity table over here. Yes, her, her, her. Girl, my ancestors was looking at you like, girl, you got us fucked up. But what we're going to do, we're going to let you entertain yourself and us. And we're going to let you think you're winning. Because <laughs> that's how my ancestors move. Oh, they're petty. If whoever you're coming after, if they're ancestors or anything like mine, let me tell you, let me tell you a little bit about how my ancestors move. <laughs> Maybe they'll sit back and let you entertain them. Will you carry you got your plan, everything is lined up from A to Z, one to one hundred, and they'll let you carry out A, B, C, D all the way to Y. When it's time for you to do Z, that's when they step in and say, Ah, cute. No, we don't think so. Yeah, we ain't letting that happen. Oh. He said, I came all this way. We know. Girl, they <laughs> entertainment. I wish I could tell you different, but if any, if whoever you're coming after, if their ancestors is anything like mine, girl, <laughs> they've been having themselves a good laugh out of you. So, look at this one. She, she really thinks she's about to do some. You know what? You know what? We're gonna let her let let her keep going. Let her keep going. And then when it's time for you to execute that last plan, look at you. Look at you. Look at look at you. With court issues too. Mm. I'm telling you, it's them, those ancestors. Oh, whoever that empress is you're coming after, protect it. Secure. Girl, you got problems. And they keep telling me you're being hunted. Whoever ancestors I'm picking up on, they said they're wreaking havoc in your life. And you're still refusing to accept the fact that your life, whatever false persona you've been presenting, is over. They said it'll wreck that persona. <laughs> you don't even want that persona anymore, but you're trying real hard to desperately hold on to it. I said, <coughs> Do you be, I hope you don't be standing in the mirror talking about, I am <laughs> the high priestess. I am the originator. I am the innovator. Girl, <laughs> Stop it. If you were, why are you living in fear? <laughs> why, 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 why? Why are you afraid of a king of pentacles balancing something out? If you were the originator, you've been trying to walk around with a mask and act like everything is a okay, but everything is not okay now. We know. I'm telling grass. You won't believe what I split my deck on. You've been walking around with a mask, pretending like everything is okay, feeling ashamed and embarrassed because everybody know your business. But you're still stalking somebody online, trying to figure out what it is they know. Are they going to expose your secrets? You've been collaborating behind the scenes, trying to bring somebody legal issues to a queen of cups? That's what you've been invested in? Bringing them legal issues? Ah, uh, girl. You better stop. Again, there go them ancestors protecting their empress. Mm, 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 mm. You better cut it. You're setting yourself up for failure. I've only had two cards out and I'm getting all this information on you, sister. Look at that. You are angry. You are pissed off. You are jealous as heck. Just mad because someone is still moving forward. A masculine is still choosing to communicate with someone. You've done so much to cause destruction, cause division. Because when you come around, that's all you bring with you is chaos, drama, and division. You've done nothing but cause conflict to manipulate this man and everybody around you. Now that the truth is out, what you want them to do? Pretend like it never happened and you're out here angry, jealous, and everything because someone is still choosing to move forward. You said, how is she still moving forward? How is he still moving forward? Like you're pissed off at someone's joy. Girl, who, who gets mad at happiness? Folks, please let me know. Who gets mad about happiness? Oh, you thought because you were out here destroying people's lives, like, because you were miserable, that they were just going to be like, oh, Michelle has destroyed everything in my life. I shall never smile again. I shall never laugh again. It's such a dreadful world. I refuse to show my 32 sparkling the teeth to the world. Whoa, it's me. Nah, somebody got up every day. Because, honey, if they're anything like me, they got up every day and took that sucker on the chin and said, you know what, Michelle? Girl, it's your time right now. But when my time come, whoo, you best not be near. <laughs> Someone's walking around talking about smile, be, smile, be. 
Come on. Hey, Michelle, if you thought you were all that, then why are you pissed off? Smile, sis. Smile, sis. Come on. You said you were gifted, right? Smile, sis. Smile, sis. Come on. You said you're a high priestess. Smile, sis. Smile, sis. Come on. You're the true twin flame girl. Smile, sis. Smile, sis. Oh, come on. Look at your not because you feel burning out here because this man is still. Girl, he's still going on. Oh, Michelle, Michelle. What will we do with you? What will we do with you, sis? Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared and bothered? You're trying to cause a distance between this man and whoever he want to work with. This man is a businessman, girl. Money talk BS walk. <clears throat> <laughs> Let me say that again, cause you didn't want to come. You didn't want that coming out, cause you know you're BS. That man said money talk, BS walk. This man is about his money. You feel me? So whoever he's trying to give to, he knows that there's a lot of money to be made. That's what business minded people. That's how business minded people think. You ain't business savvy at all, cause the way you move out here it is showing reckless. This is a businessman. When they see a money maker, baby, they go after it. They say, hey, 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 ma'am, can I talk to you real quick? I love what you do right there. And I was wondering, listen. Okay, but you're not business savvy. I told you before what you could have done a whole long time ago when you put your eye on that star C online and you decided that they were the bomb that Congress. You know somebody you're stalking because you're a groupie at this point. We keep picking up on you and you keep coming up as a groupie. When you put your eye on your favorite star, because you're that number one fan, mm -hmm. when you put your eyes on your favorite star, girl, all you had to do was send a quick email and say, hey, darling, I asked for what you do. I was wondering if we could collaborate together. Girl, it's too late. Don't be sending no spam emails now to get that woman to click on nothing so that you can access her platform and go read even more havoc on there. Did I read your mind? Because I see something here about communication. You want to send some type of manipulative communication so she can click on there or he can click on there and you can what? <laughs> girl, I can't. It's time for Destiny to play out, girl. Let go of this insecure energy. Everybody knows what you're about. Everybody knows you're embarrassed. Because the Queen of Pentacles here is still practical and taking actions and moving forward with the things that they want to do in life, your destiny. And they will be receiving that offer. Girl, you thought I was going to come over here and be like, Michelle, girl, it's okay. She ain't going to take the offer. She ain't going to work with him. She's more concerned about you and your insecurities. She don't want you to feel bad about her and the King of Wands or the King of Cups working together, whoever it is. Girl, that Queen of Baby, that Queen of Cups in the upright Queen of Swords energy. Don't get too absent <laughs> while you feel. She said, you got me fucked up. <laughs> if you think, just like that man told you, or is fixing to tell you, if you think I'm about to forfeit my destiny for your insecurities, your raggedy behind, you got me fucked up in what in too many ways. <laughs> Be practical, Michelle. Be practical. If you've been around this King of Pentacles long enough, you should know how to be practical, but you ain't been paying attention because that's what smart people do. You ain't smart at all. When smart people get around other people that are successful, they take notes. They say, oh, that's how he do that there. Because when you first get in their energy, you don't know how they do stuff. And in your mind, you're walking around watching them. Like, how you do that there, sir? How you do that there? How you do that there? How you do that there? Hey, how you do that there? And then when he tells you, he said, oh, that's how you do that there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That. Let me go put my own little spin on it so I can make it work for me too. That's how smart people do. Smart people and baby girl, smart people be out here learning. The Page of Swords has to do with you going out into the world and acquiring knowledge through experience. You ain't experienced nothing. You dull as girl, whoever you are that I've been picking up on, girl, you don't got no vibes. You dull as heck. Just boring. Just boring. Nothing but low vibrational energy and you still don't got the spark. There are some people that, that indulge in low vibrational energy, and when you meet them, they still have a vibe to them. But, girl, you are dull as When you come into the room, even if it's bright as heck in that room, they got 200 lights in there, 
It's just that one, one, one. And here comes Michelle of Era Loving Land. Yippee, girl. I can't. You see that vibe right there? <laughs> the picture source don't got to pretend to know nothing. Because they actually experience stuff. If they don't know something, they want to learn it. You ain't study. You've been studying your enemy, but your enemy knows more about you than you know about your enemies. And that's something, girl. And that's something. Because you had a whole operation going on behind the scenes, didn't you? Okay. You're pissed off. Mm hmm You see that right there? You are still, you're pissed off. Because there's a contract now going to a queen of pentacles reverse. This must be your partner in crime. You two been working together behind the scenes. Acting like you're not working together, sir. Mr. Businessman, sir. Mr. King of Wands, sir. Or Mr. King of Cups, sir. Whoever you are. I don't give a damn. Um, Yeah. They've been working together. These may be two women you see and you say, nah, they ain't working together. Yeah, they're working together. They've been working together. Maybe even working with a wife character or a mother character. It's a few women working together. It's a Queen of Cups reverse as well that's involved. She's the one working with a, a, a King of Swords in reverse as well. Maybe they're all working together against you and whoever you want to go work with. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay? If you, and if you didn't know, now you know, Tricker. Okay? All right. Now you know the, what the real word is. Well, you go ahead and say it. I can't say that word. I can't see that. And they're all mad. They're all pissed off because you're still thinking about what and bringing clarity and balancing the situation. You're going for it. You don't look into the matter at hand and you found out. You said, hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I need to readjust a few things up in here. This sucker I'm part of ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. This one is insecure. This one is low vibrational as heck. They're all insecure at the end of the day. <laughs> I ain't gonna be getting nothing out of them. There ain't no money here to be made. That empress over there, that high priestess right there, that star C, yeah, that's where the money's at. You know what, Miss High Priestess, can I talk to you real quick? <laughs> Look at you afterwards. Look at you afterwards. But you're still afraid to balance with something out. Sir, you about to have you a 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, you. Taking a new direction in life. Did you go see a practitioner? I think you did. Go see a genuine practitioner. Not this limbo here. Not this mess here. Because all she do is lie. You see the devil came right after her. Oh, she's angry. She's pissed off. You went to see someone actually skilled. That knows what it is they're talking about. Right? And they told you the truth. Am I lying? Am I lying? No, I ain't lying. I know what I'm talking about. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> you said you took... You probably told you told me she was not genuine. If you're if it's a scene set, you told me he was not genuine. Turns out he is. What was that? Don't got nothing to say because she a lie. Got paid to tell you lies. Got paid to tell you lies. Mm -hmm. Go on and go invest in your new beginning, sir. But wherever you're going, be genuine. Be authentic. I don't know what you're dealing with with this devil out here. Uh, you must have some karmic ways to you. Don't bring that with you. Okay? Because don't nobody got time for that. Because ain't nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, sir? You're going to have to get that together. Fix it. You're going to have to fix it. Lord, it's been a long journey for you and whoever you're supposed to be with because these people are determined to block the two of you from coming together, working together, wherever this is. They said, what? He's handsome. She's beautiful. She's gifted. He's gifted. She got talent. He got money. Oh, man. We're after. We're done. Oh, yeah, you are. You are. You are. You are. You are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> uh... I don't know if there was supposed to be some type of reunion that was supposed to take place, but it didn't take place. That was God's doing. Source said, mm-mm. Yeah. Oh, dang. You leaving a queen of pentacles in reverse out in the cold. You said, dang. You found out she just wants you for your money, sir. I don't believe you. I drop her like a hot pocket, too, like the piece of S-H-I-T she is. Why are you out here dating, dating people for money? They were all collaborating against you. Mm-hmm. Every last one of them. Now she's out here, woe is me. 
she done lost the bag because that's how she saw you. You were the bag. <laughs> I don't know if you collaborated with this woman, worked with this woman. Maybe they all collaborated to put her as an option in front of you, whatever it was. I really don't give no damn. Anyways, uh, with this five of cups out here, more than likely she thought you and her had something going on. Maybe it was a friends of benefit or maybe you were going to give a commitment to this woman and it's turning out you don't want to because you don't find out the truth. <laughs> Did you go to, yeah, you went to a practitioner. I split my deck and it went right back on the hermit to the magician. You went to someone that's very skilled. Oh, maybe this is what you're about to do, sir. Kudos to you. Go and find you your truth. They're going to tell you the truth. They ain't going to BS you around. Pitch your swords, the, the hermit to the magician, pitch your swords in it. But they ain't going to tell you no lie. They're just going to give it to you straight. Straight shoot up, pop out. It's up to you how you take that message. You need to appreciate people like that. Okay? They're going to balance this situation out for you. So, uh, who? The Queen of Pentacles? That Queen of Pentacles? The one in the reverse? She keeps coming out in the reverse a lot in these readings. You trying to tell me someone told you that was your match? Oh, sir. That is not your match. Lord, I hope you didn't get married to this woman. If you did, I hope you had her sign a prenup. Better hit him with a prenup. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dang. The whole family's over. The relationship is over. I don't know if you had kids with this woman. Make sure you take care of your kids. Maybe you, you thought you had a baby by her. Maybe she pretended to be pregnant by you. Whatever it is. Handle your business before you move on. Okay? But this queen of queen of wands here, baby. It's a whole situation. I can't deal with her. Cannot deal with her. Cannot deal with them. Any of you. I'm sick of you. I told y'all in one of my reading, right? I'm sick of you all. Your negativity. Your nonsense. Your madness. Your greed. Your insecurity. Every I'm sick of you all. You need to figure out your lives and your situations. And stop having us figure it out for you all. Okay? Some of you are older than we are. Listen here, we're out here in this pitch of cups energies. We're just trying to learn life. Some of you are older than us. It ain't no problem with that. Age is a beautiful thing. But we're going to need you all to start acting your ages out here. We are tired. Like, we should not be this young and tired because of you all's nonsense. We're tired. This old, this woman, this king of queen of wands here is a little bit more older. I don't know if she's in her 30s or 40s. Girl, you got some maturing to do. For your age to be behaving that way as a deaf, uh-uh, out here insecure, bitter, and just malicious for no reason. No reason at all, just money focused. You need to heal. Is you going to do the work to heal? Because you went from the devil to the star. Girl, you trying, you trying. We're going to give you the content. Look at you. Invisible five, a high five. Long distance high five if you are doing the work. But I doubt it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I doubt it. You're still burning. I doubt it. I, I'm taking my high five back. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. Yeah, you mad, girl. She is mad about this Ten of Pentacles coming into being. She says she is wishing to be the one to build this Ten of Pentacles. But the foundation on which she was building her Ten of Pentacles is false. It's toxic. It's karmic. Filled with jealousy, insecurities. That's all she's going to transmute onto other people. You're supposed to be healed to do these kind of things. It's two different Queen of Wands here. The one you're trying to go work with that's healed, balanced, and business-minded. The one that's jealous, wants to have a business, but don't got the skills to be business-minded. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Ooh. Is there some finances trapped in the court system? I ain't touching on that. That's your all's business. You're going to figure it out. Figure it out, folks. Figure it out. Like I said, the rest of us, we're tired. You ever... Let's see. I used to work as a CNA. And when I used to come home sometimes, oh, my Lord. My body used to be beat transferring those 400-pound people from their wheelchair to the bed. I don't care if they were on a machine. But I used to be beat. That's how tired I am of you people. Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's an emotional tire, a mental tire, but it's starting to feel like a physical tire. And that's why I got to hurry up and change my platform and, and change what, what I'm talking about on my platform. Because your negativity is just too much. It's too much. 
just going through towers while you're planting towers for people. And whoever you're coming after, their ancestors said they got time. They, 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 they have unlimited options in what towers they can cost you all. Girl, you're going through a tower. They're hunting you. Oh, yeah. They're hunting you with the truth. <laughs> some people ancestors are petty as heck. Cause some, the reason they're doing that is because some people don't like the truth. The truth bothers some people. So there's a group of ancestors that picked up on that and all they're doing is exposing the truth to this woman and about this woman. They said, oh, you said what? You didn't know she was on social media? You didn't know who she was? Oh, is this you watching her on 1014? Is this you watching her on 414? Girl. Whew. You said what? You ain't bothered by things being violence out for her? Huh? Oh, uh, it says you spazzing out in the bathroom. They're about to expose. They're about to expose you. Expose you. Somebody's ancestor is on petty time, and they said they don't care. They said all day, every day, until this situation is balanced out, we're gonna keep being petty. Yeah, girl, they're gonna keep being petty. It's a queen of swords around you too that's going through a tower, but she's in denial. No, she did not win. No, I'm not in a tower. This is not what it looks like. She's in denial. It's okay, honey. Whoever you are, Queen of Swords, baby, reality is going to set in for you in a way you're unexpecting. Because when it kicks in, it's going to be the goddamn, I can't even hide this no more. Because people will know you're in a tower before you even know it. It's okay. Keep pretending. Keep pretending. Let's go ahead and put a lid right back on that. Listen, this is the lid. We're going to put it back over your problems, over your tower. Let's go ahead and fix it. This just to position this lid right here and make sure uh -huh, uh -huh. it's covered up. It's not there. It's not there. Oh, it is. It is. It is. The man says, the girl, look at you. It is. And you're in fear, right? You're in fear. <laughs> About what you invested in? Who told you to invest in nonsense? You? Okay. You refuse to listen to your intuition. Your intuition told you, hey, don't do that. You're going to end up trapping yourself. Look, look, didn't I tell you you have problems coming in, girl? Excuse <coughs> <coughs> me, folks. Didn't I tell you you have problems coming in while you are out here planning to kidnap someone? Look at you. Abounded, trapped in the past. Trying to figure out what kind of manipulative tactics you can use. What kind of manipulative words you can use to keep someone trapped in some type of karmic cycle with you all. And that's the masculine you're doing it to. Whoever that empress is you're trying to come for, you already know. Someone is high ranking, higher ranking than the rest of you. So they're the ones with the authority to call judgment in the situation. So I don't even know. It's like there's a queen of swords out here that feels that because she feels that someone is not a high priestess. Or doesn't carry themselves as a high priestess or empress. Then they're not an empress. If she decides that they're not an empress. Who the F are you? Now whoever. Some of you out there. You curse. Uh, um, fluently. Please go ahead and say the actual word. I'll say F. And you say the actual word. One, two, three. Who the F are you? To decide who is an empress and who is not an empress. You're not even an empress. If you're out here. Trying to. Have people see another person as not an empress. That's not that's not how a real empress is moving in the first place. You're not a true queen of swords either because of what you're participating in. Because true empresses, baby, they don't give two Fs. What Michelle is, what Obama is, what Sasha, they don't care. It don't got nothing to do with them. They don't care what Betty got going on. They don't care what Rose has going on. They don't care. It don't got nothing to do with them. Unless Rose leaves her cubicle and comes talk to uh, Geraldine and tell her, hey, I'm having this problem here. Their empress, high priestess, they ain't gonna say nothing. Okay? They mind their business. You need to learn to mind your business. It's easy as ABC on this channel. Now look at you. In the woe is me energy. In denial that you're having a tower. Said, no, it's not a tower. It's not that big of a deal. But then when she goes home at night, oh, sis, it's burning. Ah! <clears throat> I'm telling you, when she goes home at night, this is her. And it came back out the scene. It came back out the scene, folks. This is her at night when nobody's around. Oh, reality sets in. I really effed up. What am I going to do? 
The truth is gonna come out about what I've been doing. Girl, the truth is out. You didn't know the truth is out? Oh, she knows deep down that two people are still coming together and a masculine will be leaving a community to move forward in his life <laughs> towards a queen of cups. Bro, is this is a businessman. He don't care what it is you all have going on, okay? Look at that. A businessman that self-actualizes. Isn't that a turn on, folks? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And he could be traditional as well or on his way to being traditional. Maybe he's going through some type of change. He's going through the changes. This could be a higher fin as well that's working real hard to figure something out, balance something out. Maybe I don't know what this is here. Okay. I don't give a damn either. <laughs> Excuse my French, but I really don't. I really don't. Sorry, bro, too. <laughs> Let's see you all. My mouth. My mouth is going to get me in trouble one day. I used to work for a supervisor. <laughs> I didn't work for this man for too long. I remember one day I was having, I was having, I was having one of my days. <laughs> and I remember I was explaining something to him about me. And I said, when I tell people I don't care, I really mean it. I really don't care. <laughs> I said, I really don't care. And I really don't. I feel like he just looked at me like, the heck is wrong with this woman? <laughs> oh, so when I say I really don't care by you folks, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just doing my job. Whoever you go into with a friendship, hurry up and get it taken care of. Because I'm sick of you people. You got me staying up late at night trying to figure out did this story play out yet? Did he go towards this woman yet? Listen, I wake up every day trying to figure out where is he going? When is he going? Will he hurry up? Like, I already know. I don't figure it out because I've been reading about you all for too long now. I already know when you're going to be doing this wahala. But I need you to hurry up because I'm sick of you. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care in the way I should care. But I care about the ending of the story. You fear me? That's that, that's all I care about. I want to know. I, I, I want to see the ending where... The, the, the two divine beings come together and they're doing this stuff out here building their ten of pentacles together that's what I care about but all the, oh, the fluff in between I don't care that's for the birds leave it for the birds god dang it yes leave it for the birds that's for the birds but apparently there's some awakening going on this man is going through some type of awakening awakening he's having some type of realization about a decision he had he may have made in the past to control something keep something stuck take something keep something and he's seeing the truth that that was the wrong thing and he's under judgment for what it is he did maybe going through some type of heartbreak about choosing not to be practical about a situation and walking away when he was supposed to but now i guess he's trying to fix the situation listen I, sir i say i really don't care because this is redundant. This is redundant. It's redundant. I'm done with the redundant energy. You all are the reason that I am updating my platform. Like, whatever I'm about to do on here, I don't want it to have nothing to do with you folks. Nothing. You're, you're going to have to figure out your karmic business in karmic veil. Figure it out or go to another practitioner. For some reason... You're, you're, I can't. You end up on my platform. Go away. You all like listen. Collect your properties, whatever you brought with you towards my platform. Whether it's negativity, whether it's hate, whatever. Collect all your properties, please. I beg, I beg, I beg, and be gone. Carry it with you, okay? Collect everything. You know when you are doing a uh, uh, what is this? Uh, regression therapy hypnotherapy sometimes when they're talking to those entities that have attached themselves to people's bodies sometimes they attach themselves to your mind make you crazy like madame here has an entity attached to her mind and her lower end um or they attach themselves to your lower end so you have unhealthy actual habits and things like that listen some of those regression therapists when they're talking to those entities they tell them hey i need you to take everything you brought with you and take it with you um, to where you're going. <laughs> that always cracks me up. He said, yeah, every, everything, everything. Like, they'll be having a straight conversation with these entities. And they're telling him, you got to take everything. And the entity is saying, everything? Yes, everything. The hate, uh, the insecurities, the fear, 
the PTSD, everything. The the like mindsets, uh-huh. The like of foresight, not listening to you. Anything you brought with you, we need to we need you to take it with you. You know why? Because all those entities, you know those dark entities don't bring nothing good with them. So whatever you brought with you all, as I see, I die. And excuse my frankness. Excuse me for being frank with you. Everything you brought with you, take it with you and exit. I don't care where you go, but you got to get the heck up out of here. Okay. <laughs> you remember we, from the nineties? What did we say? You don't gotta. Go, you don't gotta go home, but you got to get the heck up out of here. Every last one of you, the king, the, the queen of cups. King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Swords in Reverse, King of Pentacles Upright, King of Pentacles Reverse, the whole community, Karmic Upright, I don't care which all you are, which you all are, North, South, East, West, Front, Side to Side, Back to, I don't care. Collect all your properties and take with you, okay? I'm done. Oh my lord, I am so done with you being... <laughs> I am so done with you people. Why are you people this way? What is what is so horrible in life that you wake up and choose to be karmic? It's a whole karmic family out here. It's a whole karmic family out here. Just up to no good. Wrecking havoc in their own lives. Thinking they're wreaking havoc in a star seed's life. You ain't doing nothing in that star seed's life because the universe is going to balance everything out for that star seed. They always do. It's part of their contracts. When they volunteer to come to this planet, this beautiful planet with all you ghetto people that live on here, every single one of you. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Earth is a beautiful place, but it's a lot of ghetto people living here, and that's why it's a ghetto place to be. That's why I don't know the planet want nothing to do with beings from other dimensions don't want nothing to do with us. Absolutely nothing. Why are you all choosing to destroy your own futures under some type of illusion that you're destroying a star seed's future? Like you're so jealous of this person. You want to trap this person. You want to kidnap this person. You ain't going to do none of that. You really think the universe is going to put this kind of energy on the planet just so what, you can come and capture them and do what to them? Harvest off of their energy for the rest of their life? Are you dumb? Is that how that works? Someone said they're planning on kidnapping an earth angel. You best not do it. Because, baby, the night, the, the nightmare you're about to find yourself in won't even make sense. It won't make sense, bro. It won't make sense. I guarantee you it won't. Oh, the nightmare that you're about to be living in H-E double hockey stick on earth. And even if you're telling yourself, I can accept my consequences, yeah, that's what you're saying now. But when those consequences come, oh. Bless your soul, because the torment, oh, the torment, you don't know what you're asking for. And I'm looking in your health, you ain't that healthy. There's something up with your health. Think about that, sir. Think about that. I don't know if you were hired or you're just malicious. You're just greedy. You're soulless is what I'm hearing. You can be all that if you want to be. That's fine and dandy. We ain't here to judge you. There's a reason you're that way. But whatever you do, do not touch that star seed. Because the universe got an ASS whooping for you that they've been saving. <laughs> it said they had it on layaway. layaway. <laughs> you ever had a whooping on layaway? <laughs> you, you know what layaway whooping is? It's when you do something and your, your mom calls your daddy and tell him that you did something and your daddy tells you when I get home. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> wait till I get home. That's layaway. <laughs> uh, sir, you're on that kind of time with the universe. Because when the universe get a hold of you, you know, they know where we are. Everybody. We might as well consider ourselves to be experiments. Someday they decide to erupt the volcanoes. <laughs> Someday they decide to bring a little tornado through. And we think we're all dying. But on the grand scale of things, their tornado is about this big. But they got an ASS whooping for you on layaway when they give it to you, sir. The rest of your time on this planet is going to be filled with nothing but misery. 
your, your greed for money, your lust for money, your desire for money is about to put you in some type of hole you won't be able to get out of. This is like you waking up every day in a nightmare. Talking about how did I get up here? How did I end up here? You ended up there because of greed. Because all you care about is money. That queen of wands or queen of cups, that's what you as well. That's all. You two are like-minded. Very greedy. Very selfish. But and refusing to listen to your intuitions. If you got it. Everybody got an intuition. But some of you choose not to listen to it. But as I said, every one of you, you the king of swords re reverse, the warlock. Listen, everybody, gather up all your properties. Gather up all your satokas. Take them with you. I'm done. Okay? Listen, I got about one more week to have the foundation of my platform laid out, <laughs> figured out. And after that, I ain't never for to mention you all again on this platform because I'm sick of you. You know when your parents are sick of you, they, they, they want to like backhand you sometimes, but they can't because they love you and they know that's not the right way to discipline you. Baby, I'm about there with you all. I got a few backhands, like a few flash, I will flash you back to your ancestors. That's the vibe I'm on right now with you all because you just don't get it. If I flash you in with this here, my right hand, you will meet your ancestors. Listen, I won't, listen, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that flash it will be hot but when it's done after you're done feeling the pain look at you going within listen oh my god i'm so sick of your nonsense but some of you are lovely people but you're just so vain and so dumb like because of the people you're around so but let's we're gonna go get this darcy we got a lot of money on the line. We got to protect what's all. It's not yours. How did you even get it? You didn't get it the right way. If you're coming after someone to take them out so that you can have something or keep something, that means it doesn't even belong to you in the first place. If you're trying to block two people from coming together, that means they're not even meant to be around you all in the first place. Like a masculine has learned his lesson that he was supposed to learn around you all and now it's time for him to leave. But you're trying to block him from leaving. Make it make sense. Uh, it won't. Like it's time for someone to go and embark on a new journey. He's waiting for his ships to sail. You all keep trying to block his ships from sailing. Trying to block his ships from sailing in. It's like... God dang, I've been waiting all month. Every They said they was, this was going to be here on the 2nd. It's the 15th. What's going on? He don't even know what to do no more. Bros has lost his mind. He said, God dang, this, this, is, this is not characteristic now of my business partner. He's usually here on time. Matter of fact, he's usually here on the 29th. And I always kid with him. That he's supposed to be here on the 2nd, but he here on, he's here on the 29th. And I appreciate him for that. But here it is. Bros has been waiting. It's the 15th of the month. It's the 17th of the month. The 28th of the month. And no one's in sight. At this point, he said, y'all got him folded up in one and two bitty ways and he's out. Just like me and my ancestors are out of your business. You're going to, listen, you all are going to have to figure out your business Whatever actions you're taking, you may want to go within and figure it out because whatever you're going to do is going to lead right to a stalemate and an ending for you all. Whatever you're plotting for, Empress Energy, it's not going to go according to, according to plan. You all have been waiting every day for somebody, an Empress or a High Priestess, to wake up miserable. They're not going to show up to this building today. They're not going to show up smiling today. They're going to be crying when they come in. I want to see the look on their face when they come in crying that, you know, their dog died or they lost their money or whatever. Not knowing that it's us that did it behind the scenes. It's a high priestess, right? Remember, you all ain't putting two and two together. You're still having put two and two together yet. You're still not seeing what it is you're supposed to see. Your minds, your brain says your intuitions are still blocked right now. So you haven't put, you see how separate these two swords are? You haven't put two and two together yet, or one and one together yet to get two. One plus one is two, right? Okay, you still haven't done that simple math yet. But you're waking up every day trying to catch a star, see an empress energy, high priestess energy, miserable. He said, today is going to be the day. This one right here, this attack right here, this one right here, 
when we do this right here, oh, she ain't finna pose. She ain't finna show up to work. She ain't finna be happy. She's not gonna take care of herself. And what happened every day? What happened every day? What happened every day, folks? She still showed up as an empress energy. Intuition intact. Abundant energy. And then what happened to you all? This is the energy you're showing up in because you're confused as how as to how this woman or this man is still showing up in this lovely energy. We don't even want this one to be attached to it. A lovely energy. You see that right there? You are the ones that's confused. Aren't you all the ones with the power? Money, power, respect. Is that what Diddy said? Look at him now. Let's not even mention him. Uh, but uh, money, power, respect, right? That's what people like you say run the world, rules the world. Money, power, and respect. And at the end of the day, you still haven't figured out that that's not true. <laughs> Money, power, and respect. And you have to go through all this hoop to tear people down to get what it is you want. Do you really have power? If you got to go through all of this, do all of this, cause all this manipulation, do all this lying, all this trickery, just to get your hands on some money or to keep some money. Do you really have power? Do you really have respect? Do you really got the money? Let us know when you find out because it looks like you still don't know yet. You don't know. But let us know. Go ahead and look into it. Do the investigation. As in go within. Look in your cup. What is in that cup? Whatever's in that cup that you worked for that is in that cup belongs to you. What's not in that cup does not belong to you. If you're holding on to somebody's cup, that is not your cup. Church, let's let the folks know. Listen, you all could be very religious people. False religious people is what I'm picking up on. But if you're holding on to somebody's cup, you're just holding on to it for now. The Most High is going to snatch that sucker up from you. And whatever is in there, they're going to multiply it and return it to the owner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise be to God. Okay. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> the higher fence seconds that. He, he said, she said, yes, 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 yes. That is the truth. <laughs> The most high does be multiplying abundance, you know, in many, many ways. Knowledge, creativity, wisdom, connection to source. Abundance comes in many, many ways. But anyways, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise be to God. Okay, anyways, I'm out. I'm out. I'm done clowning. This is all for entertainment purposes, people. Please only take what applies to your situation and leave the rest to either fly or leave it for later because it just may resonate later to you. Okay, okay. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I appreciate you all for watching the Ascended Divination Princess channel. You are highly loved. If no one has told you they love you today, well, I ain't going to tell you either because I don't know you. I'm just kidding. I love you. I love you. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next week. Goodbye for now.